dogs, dogs. It seems like everywhere you look, someone is talking about dogs. But has anyone ever stopped to consider whether or not dogs exist? It's time to ask some tough questions. If dogs are so real, why aren't there any dogs in my studio right now? Hello? Dogs? Hello? There's no such thing as a dog! Some people would have you believe that a dog looks like this. Then along comes somebody else and says, actually, a dog looks like this. <laughs> well, which is it? Can't be both. They say that dogs are running around chewing on bones. Well, my doctor said my body is full of bones. <laughs> Why am I not covered in dogs right now? No such thing as dogs. It's important to do your own research. Science is all about observations or noticing things with your senses. So listen with your own eyes, smell with your own ears, look with your own nose. You know what I mean. Think about your own observations, scientists. What kinds of dogs have you seen? I've seen a black crabs a lot. I've seen a Dalmatian, I've seen a Husky, a Jitsu, a Chihuahua, Bulldogs, a bunch of other dogs. Toy Poodles, mm -hmm. they're cute. You've seen a Chihuahua, and I've also, I've also seen a Golden Retriever, and that's it. <laughs> No matter what a dog looks like, they all share a common ancestor, the gray wolf. A wolf shares more DNA with this tiny dog than with a coyote. How did dogs even happen? Imagine this. Dogs were first domesticated 15,000 years ago in Asia and Europe, according to the latest evidence. Humans shared food and shelter, while dogs offered their hunting and guarding skills. Over time, people began to breed dogs for various jobs. Guard dogs, herding dogs, dogs that could find people, dogs that could surf. A dog that's good at hunting might have a gene that helps make it good at hunting. Not genes, a gene. Genes are like building blocks for your body, and they give dogs different traits or features. So some dogs have floppy ears, some have shaggy fur. That's called genetic diversity. Genetic diversity is what makes dogs, bacteria, mushrooms, and people different. Aside from variety being the spice of life, it also helps to keep a species healthy. Imagine if we all had the same genes, and then one of those genes actually made us sick? Well, genetic diversity makes sure that those unhealthy genes get out of here. Experiment time. Check out your own traits, and while you're at it, collect some data. What color are your eyes? Mine are hazel. Are your earlobes attached or detached? Mine are detached. Do you have dimples? I have one. <laughs> These are all traits caused by your genes. Now ask someone around you the same questions. If you're related, you're more likely to have similar traits, but you might be surprised by what you observe. You can try using a chart like this one to keep track of your data. Dogs are great at making observations with their sense of smell. Even this pup, whose sense of smell is 60 times stronger than yours or mine. Scientist Alexandra Horowitz puts it this way. You or I could notice a teaspoon of sugar in a cup of tea. A dog could notice that same teaspoon of sugar in two Olympic-sized swimming pools, or over 21 million cups of tea. A dog's nose is how it interacts with the world. That's why it's not rude to meet by sniffing butts. Dogs excrete chemical information through their butts. So it's basically a handshake. For dogs. It's basically a handshake for dogs. Don't try this at home. I mean, come on, this is obviously photoshopped. <laughs> at this point, if you believe in dogs, you're living in a parallel universe. <laughs> and can anyone even prove that cats exist? I'm not saying dogs are a hoax invented by tennis ball companies. I'm just saying some people believe that. 
and we should listen to what they have to say. Maybe we'll never know. You might have noticed that dogs spend a lot of time sniffing the ground before they do their business. We scientists like to call this checking their pee mail, but it's more like their social media feed. Dogs can tell the age, the size, the sex of another dog just through smells. Who else has been here? How do I know all this stuff? Well, I collected evidence through my observations and from other scientists around the world. Still though, don't take my word for it. Check out a book on dogs, talk to an expert, or go straight to the source and ask a dog. Remember, when someone asks you to believe something, no matter how smart they seem. Hello, I'm very smart. I'm wearing a suit. This microphone isn't even plugged in. Oh, that's it. Coming for you. That's oh. Do your own research and check your facts. Here's some research now. Oh, just the cutest research I've ever seen. What do you think, scientist? so hungry, being so right all the time. Mm. And we're live. <laughs>